we thought the only way that we'll ever be able to get into the flat roll business is by making a, some kind of a thin slab casting. And that's really simple, because normally you're making a slab 8 to 10 inches thick. You take it down, you cool it down, you put it in a reheat furnace, then you put it in a breakdown mill, and you come to put it in a finishing mill. And you know from the rate it comes out that you've got to have 2 million tons. And 2 million tons is not a mini mill. Plus you've got a huge cost to build a, a big integrated thin slab flat roll mill is absolutely prohibitive. You're talking about, you know, a billion, two billion dollars to do it. And the answer is to make a thin slab. Where you don't have the big breakdown mill. Where you can save energy by going directly through a soaking furnace. And then you know, use some other innovations along with it. We had also had our share of failures. We tried once to use induction heating instead of electric furnace and finally had to take it off and cost us about $4 million. We put in a resistance heater one time to heat billets instead of using gas, and after a year or so, we had to abandon that. We tried a system of preheating scrap to reduce cost, and the way we put it in, it never worked, and we had to finally abandon. Probably, of the projects we undertake, 50% are failures. Now, we never publicized our failures, and you can't blame us for that. We picked the Midwest, we looked for a site, finally we started the construction and, or, or in the uh, summer of 87 really, and by 1989, which was last year, we had it up and operating. And boy did we have problems. The nozzle wouldn't last as long as it was supposed to last. It couldn't as we knew this problem. But every time we started up, some a piece of equipment would fail and we'd have to shut it down. The first few months they produced less than a thousand or two thousand tons, and uh, at that time people were and we were losing four million dollars a month. In 1989, we lost fifty million dollars starting this up, and we expensed every penny of it. And I just had people ask me, you know, how do you sleep well with that problem? And I said, yeah, I sleep like a baby. I wake up every hour and a half and cry. <laughs> one thing we had, I say the one thing we had, we had the confidence that we knew we could make it work. Well, what's happened to Crawford? Today they're producing really at close to that design capacity of 800,000 tons a year. We're pretty confident at this point that we're going to be able to take it up to over a million tons a year. So now what are we going to do? Well, the obvious thing is we're going to build another one. And we have announced that we're going to build another flat roll mill in Arkansas, which will be in operation by early 1993.